Stephanie Milkey here, a.k.a. Keto Mom, or often called mom, sis, Steffi, daughter, wife, aunt, and friend. Just like many of you, I carry a lot of titles. My favorite title is mom. I should probably say wife, which takes a lot of my time. But let's be honest. If you want to do something and do it well, you will make the time for it. Commitment is hard because we find ourselves overcommitted. But when you practice prioritizing, you will find out what is actually important and what you can let go. With the Keto Mom Podcast, you will learn together how to manage our time, commit to the most important things in life, and I will equip you with the tools you need to feel qualified each step of the way. My name is Stephanie Milkey, and welcome to the Keto Mom Secrets Podcast. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. I'm tuning in from an Airbnb. I almost said we're in Florida, but we're not. We're in Oklahoma. I feel like we've been traveling, well, we travel often and I'm always like, where are we? We're in Oklahoma. Uh, Our girls are going to a youth camp, a youth event this week. And so we are, I've been trying to find places to talk in this Airbnb. And I was like, all right, here we go. I've got kids sleeping all over the place. So tell me where you're tuning in from. Hey, welcome. If you're brand new, I would love for you to post new below. I would love to get to know you. Good morning, good morning. Oh, you're so sweet, Cindy. You're so sweet, Cindy. Cindy says, I always make her day. Well, you make my day because I love to see you hop on. So I had a thought for you this morning and it's how to win your week. So if you're watching live, it is a Monday morning. I was, I almost second guess that. So we, if you're familiar with Oklahoma Life Church, we hopped around a whole bunch of different campuses this yesterday. And there's a ton, oh, good morning, Linda, you're so sweet. So uh, yesterday we went and visited five different campuses, five life churches, cause they're doing something called at the movies. And so we had a really great time. You come in, each lobby is decorated like a different movie. And then Pastor Craig gives a message based on a movie. It's incredible. If you don't live in Oklahoma, you can go watch it at live.life.church. But you guys, the movies are amazing. The scenes are amazing. Like they just do things with excellence and our kids had a great time. So welcome to the Keto Mom page. Hey, at any point in time, you can go to ketomomsecrets.com, click on book club, click on how to get started, click on mindset, click on Uh, ketones. And even when we're traveling, I'm mailing out ketones. And so there's lots of ways I want to help you. One of them is in the mornings to help you with your mindset. And so you can click on recipes, ketomomsecrets.com, which we've been adding new recipes there, just so you know uh, how to get started. If you're brand new and you just need to get started with, uh, we've got a seven day habit, or I'm sorry, seven habit tracker not day, but seven different habits that I feel like are super important for your life. Uh, as far as like owning your day and it has to do with mindset and your water and your movement and your food. If you want the free tracker, post tracker in the comments. Otherwise I have a couple thoughts for you this morning. All right. So number one, if you are taking notes, actually, I would love to know if I were to say, Hey, Cindy, or Angela, if I were to say, let's say Kimberly or Jessica, hi Adrian, hi Ann, okay, Kathy, if I were to say any of your names or Crystal or Jen, if I were to say, if you got to the end of this week and in order for you to say, hey, I feel like I won the week, what would you have to do to win your week? If you had to give, if, if you had to give, one tip or one thought or one action, what would it be? So I'm going to say, Daniela, what does it take to win your week? Joy. If you, if there was one thing you did this week that you were like, yes, if I get this done, if I do this, I feel like I won my week. I'm going to give you three thoughts. Uh, Stacy, you answer too. all of you that are popping on. So I was thinking and I was like, all right, if I were to win my week, what does that look like? What does winning look like to me? Uh, To me, that's success. What does success mean? Success to me is action. So I was like, all right, if I'm going to win my week, number one, I'm going to work on my mindset. My mindset has to come first, which is why you're here, right? We like to go through books or just give you 
I want to give you things to think about to win your week. So the first one would be mindset. And I believe the mind, your mindset is so important because it's either the mindset of I'm going to win, I'm going to make it a great week, I'm going to pursue to have a great week, I'm going to, what is it, right? I was writing down some notes. So number one is mindset. Your mindset is the key to unlock your full potential. Uh, I quoted that from somebody. Uh, chain, oh, here's what I quoted. Change the way that you look at things and those things will change. It's by Wayne Dyer. So change the way that you look at things and those things will change. I 100% believe the things you read, the people you listen to, the things that you're watching. We just had an incredible conversation yesterday. Uh, we got to see both of our mentors. So when we lived in Oklahoma, we lived here for five years. We had two families that spoke so much truth into our lives and we uh, stayed at some of our friends houses our friends they're our mentors and then we had lunch with the other ones and and they just both like when they speak they just speak out of the overflow of their wisdom and a lot of it's around your mindset and truth and the things you're allowing in and what's coming out and so I really truly believe that one of the ways that you can win your week is to have a good mindset how do you do that you pay attention to what you're reading. You pay attention to what you're listening to, even the words that are coming out of your mouth. And so I believe a way that you win your week is you change the way that you look at things, perspective, and those things will change. So whether it's tuning in here or reading a book or on your way to work, listening to a podcast, 100%, <clears throat> it's going to help you win your week, perspective, right? Number two, I believe, is intention. So I, if you haven't done it, if you have not done this, whether yesterday or this morning, if you don't normally journal or if you don't normally plan your week, I would say what intentionally, what intention, what do you want to go after this week? So I would get a piece of paper, get a post-it note, put this in your phone and go, what do I need to put intention behind? What do I need to physically do this week to feel like I won? What is it? Is it going to the gym? Is it, did you pack your lunch today? Is it uh, intermittent fasting Monday through Friday? It doesn't even have to be a health related goal. <clears throat> it could be, hey, I didn't go to Target. <laughs> I didn't order anything off Amazon. I went, I had intentionally working on my marriage, I went on a date. Because with the right mindset, with intention, I want you to write something down or write a couple things down that you're like, these have to be done this week. And then the last one, if you were to guess, would be action, right? So I wrote down, uh, well, I wrote down activate. The path to success means you take massive action. So we've got mindset to start your day, to start your morning, to start your week. I get to go to work. I get to go to the gym. You've got being intentional with the things that you want to do. Write it down. When you put your thoughts and your intentions on paper, you're more likely to do it. You've got it in front of you. And then you take massive action. So we're going to think about what we want. We're going to have a good perspective. We're going to be intentional. We're going to write it down. And then we're going to take massive action on those things so that you will have an incredible week. So that was my thought this morning. I was like, I want to help people win their week. And, and listen, you can tune into the Keto Mom page for recipes, for keto tips and tricks. For You can send me a message. You can ask a question below. But I'm going to guess you know what to do. It's just taking the massive action to actually achieve those goals. Would you agree? And I don't know if I saw anybody. Maybe. Maybe I'm not reading in the comments. But if you're like, okay. Uh, actually, I'm going to use this as an accountability for you. If you want to win your week and you're like, oh man, I, I really want to get this done. What is it? What is it that if you had to write something down and you're like, listen, my week will be one. I'm going to feel successful. I'm going to be moving in the right direction if I do this today, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, post below. What is it? What are you committed to? What are you going to work on your mind? Cindy says her mindset. C Cindy, <clears throat> I think that's great. How are you going to work on your mindset? What does that mean to you? You 
going to read a specific book or is there a podcast you like to listen to? Is it getting up with an attitude of gratitude? Is it journaling? Is it listening to something? What is it? How are you going to work on your mindset? In order to win your week, you've got to be intentional. You've got to take action. So that is what I have for you this morning. We are going to start a book later on next week. Our plans may shift and change, so I physically need to go to the store and buy the book. We were going to go through the book called Cazone next week. I don't have it with me. We're shifting some things this week, and so I need to go grab the book. And I want you to know that you have everything inside of you that you need to be successful. You just need to activate on those things. I love it. So Cindy says she's going to stay positive. She's going to listen to me. <laughs> and she's reading The Miracle Morning. That's an incredible book, Cindy. That book is a thin book of action to own your morning because I truly believe if you own your morning, own your day. All right, Linda says she's going to intermittent fat, fast, <laughs> intermittent fast, uh, specific books with journaling. I love that. Like when you do these little actions, it's like, um, okay, this is going to be a silly analogy, but it's like quinoa. Is it quinoa or quinoa? You know, quinoa, how it's like the teeny, teeny, teeniest little grain, right? And you, when you cook, like if you were to call for a recipe, so for example, when I cook, I over I don't really measure like sometimes but I'm like, I'll have some more of this and some more of this. And I just, I usually cook for an army, not even intentionally, but I'm like, Ooh, I don't know if that's enough. So think about like this. Quinoa, quinoa is the smallest little grain. Now, if a recipe calls for one cup, right? You make the cup, you'd make it up. You'd make your quinoa, quinoa. And if you're, if you're like me, you might, instead of read the recipe, and if I read one cup, I might be like, eh, I'll probably make a little bit more. I'll do two cups. Well, if you know how quinoa works, then you know that this teeny little grain multiplies and it like expands like a marshmallow. And all of a sudden, it's not this teeny little grain, and you don't have one cup, you have like 18 cups. And so think about these little things that you can do. Sometimes we feel like these little actions aren't really moving us in the right direction, right? Yes, they are. Because these little teeny actions, whether it's getting up in the morning or it's working on your mindset or it's going for the walk or it's packing your lunch, consistently over time will expand like a marshmallow. It will expand and you'll see the growth in your life, but you've got to put in the work. You've got to start with the little grain or the little step consistently over time. I don't even know if that made sense, but it just was like, I don't know. It just was there. So <laughs> started live at your legacy. I love that. And we're doing, cause Lori says she's starting to live your legacy. All right. Thank you for tuning in. So your actions matter. Your intention matters. Your mindset matters. It's putting those into massive action throughout the week. I love that you're sharing below. What are you, what would you have to do that you feel like you need to do to win your week. So, uh, Cindy, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Your presence matters. You can always go to ketomomsecrets.com, click on book club or mindset or recipes. For those who want recipes, there's new ones being added. Click on, we send out trials. And even from Oklahoma, my mother-in-law sends out trials for me. So there's always ketones going in the mail. Reach out with questions, ask below. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I love it, Tabitha. Thank you. Um, you're very, you're very, very welcome, Linda. So we'll hope we'll see you guys whenever I, I'll do another live tomorrow for sure, but maybe I'll pop on later and we'll talk about food or some different things. So have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. It's going to be a great week and we'll talk to you soon. Bye everybody.